back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Marina. I do mobile home living. I'm a mama to four. I'm married to listen. Today we're going to do something that I have dreaded doing. You guys know I can start a room makeover and finish it within hours. But when it comes to little tedious things like trim and top trim, bottom trim, inside of cabinets, I hate it's just so tedious. It is so tedious. I hate doing it. Almost two years I have had bad trim and you guys never fail to remind me that I have bad trim so I'm gonna tackle that I'm gonna tackle all the trim around the kitchen I'm gonna tackle the doorways around the doorways I'm going to finish my cabinets these cabinets are finished on the outside but on the inside they're all finished so I gotta finish those I'm gonna just tweak stuff I'm just gonna basically I'm rolling with the punches and we're just gonna do whatever I feel like doing we all know that when she says me, it's actually we, which actually turns into I, so I meant us. Yeah. <laughs> Shane's such a trooper. So not only did I ask him to hang the ship lap up there because I can't reach above the cabinets there, but I asked him to paint the trim above the cabinets and I asked him to attempt to whitewash the ship lap. Like I whitewashed the ship lap. <laughs> That was a process. Y'all will see. I about had a fit, had a little bit of a panic attack, but it, it turned out okay. Excuse me. Excuse me, mom. This is shit. my work spot. Go get your own. <laughs> <laughs> Who is doing a bike kit? <laughs> you come to my playground? You play by my rules. <laughs> Y'all, it don't take a lot to get this makeover stuff done. I'm using this stiff old paintbrush because I need it dry anyway. I'm using this old paint that I've had forever. I've almost had it as long as that one time I had that can of paint that had maggots in it. That was, I'll tell y'all, that would be a story time one time. And then I just used this piece of cardboard like divider paper that's in a spiral notebook. I just used that to make sure I brushed my paint off on that a little bit so I could have a really dry brush because that's what gave me the effect. It almost in person, looks like galvanized metal it's insane what a little bit of paint on a stiff brush can do but it is super easy and y'all you can literally you can use any kind of paintbrush it doesn't have to be a certain size i have painted my wall my wall in the hallway was painted with a watercolor paintbrush because i was too impatient to not start the project i didn't want to wait till shane got home so i just took a watercolor paintbrush one of the itty bitty ones you get at the dollar tree and i painted that wall it took forever but i got it done make my strokes perfect honestly it don't take different strokes to rule the world yes it does it takes different strokes to rule the world i found out that i liked it better with different strokes rather than perfect strokes Are you recording? I guess. I didn't answer. Make up your mind that I'm nowhere to find. I'm standing right here. I know that I told you we're over. I swear that I'm sober. Just listen, I miss you. And I know that I said all these things, but now when you're with her, I can see.
So now, we gotta teach Shane how to whitewash. Let's go. I don't wanna whitewash. You got to, I can't teach it. No. Okay, so this is what you do. You have one washcloth. Can they see me? Can you guys see her? I think they said no. Oh no. Oh no. That bunched up at the edges, you gotta hey. you gotta feather that out so there's no harsh. I realize that Picasso. Oh my god. Okay, okay. Okay, you wanna make at least two prominent streaks in the middle oh. just to give it some dimension. Oh, would you stay with me? Y'all, y'all, I'm not gonna lie. I don't like being a backseat driver when it comes to makeovers. <laughs> I think that's pretty obvious. Um, Shane did okay, but don't tell him. I'm definitely gonna be covering it up with top of the cabinet decor stuff. So, I mean, it's fine. No harm done. He tried, and that's all that matters. And it gives the house character because he put, he did that. He did that. You know what? I'm gonna show it off. I'm gonna be proud. Shane did that. He went out of his comfort zone and he did that for me. And I'm thankful. Here in a second, you'll see an area around the light socket there that we had. We ran into an issue when hanging up this backsplash. You can't tell when I have my stuff on the counters, but I'm about to move my stuff around and you'll definitely be able to see it. I'm either going to go get, I don't want to go buy another like $35 piece of backsplash just for that little area there. So what I'm thinking about is getting creative with some metallic paint and trying that out. Regardless, it looks okay. It doesn't bug me. I actually may even frame out my outlets in my kitchen. So you won't be able to tell later on. But as of right now, I'm cool with it. Whatever, I just hide it. <laughs> I, do I do that with loss of my house. I just hide stuff. I hide imperfections. So while I really do love all my robin egg blues and all my mints, I realized that I have basically just vomited robin egg blue and mint into my kitchen. So I'm trying to break up the blues so it's still got that farmhouse appeal, that earthy kind of woodsy thing. So I took this sign, y'all see me, I've made this sign into a tray with tin foil before. I've done all kinds of things with this canvas sign I got at Ross. But I just turned it upside down to make a little platform area to kind of give it some wood tones in there. Because I like different colors of wood tones. And I want it to look really natural, not just all robin egg blue. Because it's kind of giving it a 60s dynamic, to me anyway. I kind of saw a very 
50s, 60s dynamic for some reason. It just, every time I looked at it, I saw that. So what I did is I was like, I'm going to just bring some woods in here. You'll see me break it up even more here in a minute. I loved this turquoise thing, but like I said, it's just too much blue. So I white washed it real quick. Didn't do nothing fancy just to kind of break up all the blues. And at, at the end of this, when y'all see it at the end, I love it. I think it looks great. Man, we could probably sell a bunch if you had them shiny spandex no, on. I gotta get done by 4 because I gotta leave by 4.30. You see me too. Yeah, I need it. Don't you need me too? Cause I got you. And you got me too. I got this boy on my mind that I can't live without. Oh, his eyes are killing me. He keeps talking about everything that he likes And I can't stop listening I'm thinking about him all the time I'm thinking about him all the time I'm thinking about him all the time All the time And my heart's beating fast when he's looking like that Oh, his smile is killing me It's the way that he moves and the way that he laughs So I can't get enough I'm thinking about him all the time I can get him off 
feels so good to get these unfinished projects finished. I'll definitely be doing more of these videos because I have a lot of unfinished projects around my house. But I hope you guys have a blessed morning, evening, night, whatever it is, wherever you are at. And I love you guys, but let me tell you, Jesus loves you so much more. I will see y'all Friday, tomorrow. I'll see y'all tomorrow. <laughs>